The purpose of this video is to hopefully provide the viewer with a better understanding of how point displays are managed in Civil 3D. With respect to points, there are essentially two methods by which point displays can be managed. They can either be managed on a object level setting, meaning each point can have its own display settings, or they can be managed via point group settings. When working with point group settings, a point group will generally control the display of multiple points. Given the points we have in this current example, we can do some work to better understand what is controlling the display of these points that we are looking at. This can simply be done by running the list command on a point. For example, looking at this point here, number 6657, I can select it and run a list command and I can see that one of the properties which it displays is the primary point group. Without any other information on the display of this point, I can then deduce that the point display settings for the point group topo are what are controlling the display of this point. Looking at another example, such as this point here, number 6641, with the description tree oak 18, as I run a list on this point, I find that it gives me the same information that it belongs to a primary point group topo, but in addition to that, looking below, I find that it also has a point marker style named tree and a point label style named point number elevation description. When I see this, I can deduce that there is a point object level setting that has been created for this particular point. In addition to using the list command, there are other ways to verify how the display properties of points are controlled. One other way is via the properties dialog in AutoCAD. Taking the same point, 6657, I can highlight it, right click, choose properties, and under information I see that there is an entry for style and point label style properties for this particular point. Note that they are set to default. Again. This is equivalent to the fact that when you list this point, it has no further information on point style settings or point label style settings, but simply that it belongs to point group topo. Similarly, I can take point number 6641, highlight it, use my right mouse button shortcut and choose properties. And here I see that the style for this particular point has been set to tree, it is not default, and the point label style has been set to point number elevation description, not default. So in this case, these settings have been applied to this particular point only. Another way to verify how display settings have been set for points is through the edit points dialog itself. For example, I can go to points, right click on points in the prospector, select edit points, and here in the point editor dialog box I can scroll down the list to point number 6657 and as I scroll all the way to the right there is a column for point style and point label style and here I see they are empty. There is no object specific setting and as I scroll down to 6641 our other point and again scrolling to the right to the style and point label style column I see a point specific setting that has been applied. That said the way in which point group settings are applied with respect to display property of points also has its own nuances. As you may recall, 6657, when we listed it, belonged to the primary point group topo. Looking under point groups in Prospector, we see that there are two point groups, topo and all points. Looking at the properties for the topo point group, we see the default styles are set to basic and point elevation description. And that is what we see reflected here in the drawing for point number 6657. 
if I were to change the point style for this group to let's say standard and change the point label style to point number only hitting apply and OK we see that implementing changes to the point group applies to the points which belong to it. Now the nuances I spoke of is that in some cases points can belong to multiple point groups. For example, in several 3D drawings there is always an all points point group which contain all points within the drawing. Going to point groups, right clicking on point groups in Prospector and choosing properties, note what happens when I change the order in which these two point groups are set. I can take the all points point group, move it up to the list, select apply, note what happens to the points, and OK. And the display properties change. That's because looking at the all points point group, noting its properties, its point style is set to basic, and its point label style is set to none. Therefore, what we find is that within point group properties, the hierarchy of this list of point groups controls what display settings will ultimately apply to the points that are currently in the drawing. Here if I take the topo point group, move it up to the top of the list, select apply and OK, we see that the points revert their visual display settings back to what is set under the topo points group. Lastly, point groups do have the ability to ultimately win over all display settings. As we noted earlier, point number 6641 had point specific display settings which set the marker symbol to a tree symbol and is currently displaying the point number, point elevation, and point description for this particular point. This was on an object level settings. However, we can go to topo point groups to which this point also belong to. Right click topo point groups, go to properties, and point groups have a tab known as the overrides tab in which we can tell certain point settings to be overridden, even those that are on an object level. Here if I override the point marker style and the point label style, select apply and OK, notice that now all points within the drawing are reflecting the point display settings that are in effect for the topo point group. Even the object level point settings have been ignored. Again, that was through the point group settings for the particular group that is in control. In this case, it is topo. Right click, select properties. Under overrides, we turned on override settings for point marker style and point label style. Therefore, meaning that under information, these two styles here will control. If I go back to overrides and turn this setting back off, this will allow point specific display settings to control again. I select apply and OK. And notice the tree symbol and the point label style is back in effect for those specific points. This concludes our video on understanding point display settings. Thank you.